Via Audio is some of the brand that I say that it's constantly giving you a good tuned IM. Even starting from their low budget like the Legacy Series until their Voyager and also Tri-Bus Series all are good. But this time is the first time they are releasing a single dynamic driver IM. As we know, they have the Legacy series that has a uh, hybrid drivers, and then the Voyager series that is using all full balance armature, and also their Tribrid series, which is um, arguably maybe one of their uh, most well-known series. But right now, I'm gonna review their first single dynamic driver. I am. Hello and welcome to After Sound Review, and this is my review for the The Audio Elixir that cost around a $210 and it's only using a single dynamic driver a uh, driver only and thank you for Danny for sending me this re IM unit to be reviewed and just like usual I will break down this review from the build fit frequency response sound and comparison it's a unique choice maybe for the audio to use this kind of material because the thing is I have reviewed their previous lineup from the Legacy 4 even their Monarch Mark II and Voyager's V16 and they are all using resin that somehow doesn't really feels convincing for me but this the audio elixir somehow in my hand feels like it has the most durable material starting from the face plate itself it somehow has this kind of wooden pattern on it and the body i don't know it feels like a uh, very very smooth aluminium but it feels durable and it's the finishing is very smooth and somehow looks really good and still the cable itself i don't really understand why they keep on doing this it has this kind of extension that is supposed to be matched with i am with the two pins recession but it has no recession in the body so it will protrude a little bit like this but the cable itself feels really high quality even though it's quite thin but it feels very smooth in the finishing and also quite flexible so i have no complaint with that ergonomics wise for me it is simply excellent i hear no microphonics from the cable and it fits just really great in my ears i find no sharp edges and it's not too big nor too small and it's really uh i would say balanced and also a uh, stable in my ears so when i'm moving my head like this it still keep on stable nice fit frequency response wise for me it's another im that has this similar frequency sh uh, response shape to the im that is considered to be harman neutral ish im such as the moondrop aria and also the moondrop kxxs the tangium oxygen and many other like that it has mostly a uh, enhancement in the base area and also upper mid range and after that it has this gradual treble rolled off I have tried this The Audio Elixir with some of my sources and for me, they're pretty much really easy to drive and no matter what kind of source you use to drive them, it's a really easy to like I am because of its tonality. The tonality is simply hardly, uh, hardly critiqued because it's just done a lot of things good, natural and also organic and also maybe analog it's some things that you could associate with this Theo Audio Elixir because that's just how natural they sound I'm just gonna break it down from the bass first for me the bass is somehow um, a little bit of mixed feeling here yes for me it still has this kind of good weight note good decay and also a good depth in terms of bass quality but the speed and also the texture it feels like it's soft and it doesn't really impactful so it's not really suitable for maybe some uh, rock music because for me rock needs really fast and also uh, punchy bass I don't really feel that uh, punch it feels like a soft punch rather than a really hard punch here in this uh, The Audio Elixir but nevertheless, it's still a bass that I could say I like, just not for uh, metal or rock music. And then going to the mid-range, it's maybe one of the things that you will easily like because it's so natural, it's so balanced. So no matter what kind of song I throw at this The Audio Elixir, the vocal will always sound really, really good. The vocal will always uh, shine, it still has this naturality and you get that sweetness from overall the sound of this uh, The Audio Elixir 
and it's not shouty it's really well controlled and hearing piano and also guitar from this the audio elixir it just simply sounds really really natural in terms of timbre and also weight note yeah i think this again the natural naturality is the thing that i always uh i always see i always hear when i'm using this theater uh, elixir but the treble again even though it still has a good timbre but for me the impact and also the attack notes from the treble it feels kind of liking it still sounds quite soft so when i'm hearing cymbals it feels like it's just, it gets smoothened and softened to the point that i don't really enjoy the rock music from this uh, i am also hearing violins and also cymbals and violin uh, uh, sorry percussion it doesn't really get really high in this i am and also not really good in terms of clarity so in terms of tonality it's well easily like because of how natural it is when you're hearing maybe pop music vocal acoustic music it's just really really easy to like because yeah again it's a really natural and maybe uh quite laid back for a lot of music so you could hear it for hours without any fatigue but the technical part might be the echoless hills for this the audio elixir because here's the thing we're talking about 200 dollar price point at $200 price point, I would say that the planar IM such as the Timeless or even the Shure S12 has leak better uh, resolution rather than this the Audio Elixir that feels uh, quite blur maybe because of how good the resolution is coming from the S12 or the Timeless even though that the Timeless and also the S12 I would say that they has a not as they sound not as natural as this uh the audio elixir but the resolution and clarity is just really different to the point that it feels kind of blur so i don't really have anything to be uh praised because of this technicality but i would say if you have tried maybe the moondrop kato or maybe the tai Hana, i would say that it's on the same level so it's not bad but it's not good either because the existence of this planar IMs and it has quite good sound stage but it's mostly only two dimensional not really three dimensional and other than that I don't really have anything to be praised for the technical of this IM it's just okay but simply not as good as those planar IMs now when it comes to comparison maybe I will compare them first with this C Audio Yume Midnight which I consider to be another good IM but I don't really like because the thing is the C, the C Audio Yume Midnight has a really good extension on both ends on the uh, it has a really good sub bass extension and also good treble but the thing is from this C Audio Yume Midnight you get this plasticky timbre from the balance armature and the coherency is not really good either i could definitely pick and hear there's a difference between the bass decay and also the fastness of the treble and after hearing the c audio you may midnight and then see hearing this elixir the elixir is much more natural to the point if you ask me that how would which one should i choose i would say that the c audio elixir is just much sound much more harmonious and also yeah simply more natural for me but the thing is it's hard nemesis might be the 7 hertz timeless because it costs only a uh, 20 dollar more pricier than this elixir and also the tonal is also the something that i would say that it's easy to recommend it's still on really all rounder i am but the resolution detail and clarity and also treble extension it's just better on the timeless it also has better impact rather than elixir even though i i consider uh 700 timeless is not very impactful either but it has better impact rather than this theodo elixir but again the theodo elixir in terms of even, uh, some vocals and also timbre in some instruments for me it's more natural uh, but it also has this uh maybe another choice 
at $270. So it's $70 difference, not really high but not really small either. It's the Tanjim Oxygen which is still one of my favorite dynamic driver ever. This Tanjim Oxygen might sound a little bit more shouty and also thinner in mid-range. But other than that, for me the th this Tanjim Oxygen is just simply a league ahead of this Theodel Exir. It has a much cleaner sound and also more focused and more impactful bass that it sounds more... Uh, it, I got this three-dimensional depth from this Tanjim Oxygen that I don't really get in the Theodel Exir. And also it has better clarity and overall resolution while maintaining the same level of uh, tonality and uh, not tonality sorry the same level of naturalness for me the, they are both has really good timbre but in terms of resolution and impacts it's just better on the tanji oxygen despite of its more thinner mid-range really so is it a good IM? i would say it's still a good IM, but the the time of the release and also the price point makes it hard to be one of the most recommended IM8 price point. I hope you understand what I'm saying here and if you have an equation please write down in the comments below and see you next time. Bye bye.